In this video, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about uh, creating a combo box, placing it on an access form, and some of the basics around combo boxes. I've got this form here that I want to place a combo box on. So what I'm going to do is I'm in Design View, and I'm going to go ahead and click on the Toolbox, the Control Toolbox. Then I want to select Combo Box. Now, you'll notice that when I click on this form, it brings up a combo box wizard. Now this combo box wizard, you can actually go through it or you can hit cancel. I usually like to hit cancel because uh, I find that when I build a combo box myself, it gives me a little bit more flexibility. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel and I'll close out the toolbox control. And now what I'm, I've got to do is I've got this fresh combo box here, no data in it, and I've got to decide what data I want to put in here. I've actually already got an idea of what I want to put in here. I've got this table called locations table and I've got region, location, and location number. I want to basically give my users a way to select region easily without having to type it in. So region from the locations table is what I want to put in my combo box. So I'll close that out and go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and right click on the combo box and click on properties and then I want to go to the data tab and go to a section called the row source and now you'll notice that there's two buttons here there's a drop down button where you can actually select a table uh, or there's a uh, button here with three dots on it and when you open that it opens up a query builder and this is almost just like well this is exactly like building a query so that's what I want to do I'm actually going to bring in locations table and I'm going to want region so I'm going to bring in the regions table and then uh, I'll leave it at that for right now so basically I'll, I'll build a query that gives me regions now what you can do is you can test out what the combo box is going to have in it by hitting run and this is why it's so great to do this on your own because you can actually test out what it's going to look like and you can play with it as if you're building a query. So now you'll notice that oh, I've got north listed many, many times, south listed, listed many times, and west. And so what my combo box is going to be screwed up if I leave it like this. So now I want to go ahead and hit design on this and alter my query to um, right click on the grid and hit totals to do a group by and I'm going to group by ascending so now when I run this this is what my combo box is going to contain north south and west perfect that's really what I want what I need so I'm going to go ahead and close out this query and it's going to ask me do I want to save the changes uh, that I just made and I'm going to go ahead and hit yes so now uh, I'll leave everything else the way it is and when I do the form view I can see north, south, and west. Perfect. 